Well, there is great news now for people with life-threatening allergies. The EpiPen will soon have the generic equivalent. There's no word yet on the exact date of release of, or price point, but it will be a huge relief for many families. And here's investigative reporter Angie Bracono. The EpiPen has been in a harsh spotlight. It's become the poster child for big pharma making big profits at the expense of people who are literally in life and death situations. Soon families will have more options and a generic alternative. It kind of does scare me. 11 year old Sam Brunson suffers from a severe nut allergy. An EpiPen like this one could be a matter of life or death. His family can tell you EpiPens are expensive and they can be tough to find. The shortage is, is a really big problem. It didn't matter who I called, I could not find it. The good news is Megan Brunson finally found one, but the price was steep. It's about $700 or just shy of $700 for one box, and uh, I really needed to have the generic. The drug maker Mylan faced backlash after the price of its EpiPen soared from just over $100 in 2009 to more than $600 in 2016. The company put out a cheaper $300 version following criticism from Congress. Teva Pharmaceuticals will make the new generic EpiPen, but it's unclear when it will be available or exactly how much it will cost. In a statement, the company said, we're applying our full resources to this important launch in the coming months and are eager to begin supplying the market. Dr. John LaPook is the CBS News chief medical They're correspondent. Right. And you don't want price to have to come into that to decide, well, you know what, I would have had this life-saving medication with me, but it was just too expensive. The Brunson family says they understand that tough reality. It is just not even feasible for a household income, who, no matter who you are, to write over a check for $700. Right now, the shortage is real. That's because parents generally stock up before kids go back to school. That should ease in the coming months. Angie Ricono, KCTV 5 News.